Hey, arty, 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 and welcome to a scoreboard tutorial. Uh, I am here with uh, Running for Fourth and Morillabus, and we are going to show you how to do team based scoring with the scoreboard. As you can see on my right side, you can see the score of uh, the green team and the blue team. And at the top, you can see uh, the personal uh, names that I am in the blue team with Morillabus and running is in the green team. And uh, instead of showing every single player and their individual scores, you will get team based score uh, that is much easier to read and uh, it's uh, just looks way nicer and the process of doing this is a little bit more advanced than you can think so that is why i'm making a tutorial on it so let me reset everything so we have nothing to uh, have been done so we're starting from scratch nothing have been done to the scoreboard so the first thing we will need our teams we have the green team which the command name is TG so the name of the team is actually TG but it displays as green we have the, the team blue which is TB Ta -ta -ta -ta. we have no cr now created the teams we will set the color to blue and green which seems pretty reasonable and we can now join teams if we want to so you can both join whatever teams you want uh, so green and blue uh, we will need two objectives and that is uh, the thing that is a little bit uh, advanced or difficult uh, we will need one objective to be displayed on the side the score as we saw before uh, but we will need a separate objective to be able to actually read the score with the test for command and I will show you why we need that in a second. So I'm just going to add these objectives. The read objective is called R1 and it's of the type dummy and it is displayed in the tab uh, in the list section uh, which you press tab to see. The display is called d1 is a dummy type and is displayed as score and will be shown at the right side uh, the read objective doesn't have a display name because you're not supposed to show it it's supposed to work in the background and be functional uh, we have a display objective for a reason now here is where the strange things come in we have to create fake players that doesn't exist uh, these fake players are what you see on the right side uh, the way we do this is we join the a team we in this case we joining the uh, green team or team green and the player that is going to join that team is called green team it's a lot of team and greens I know uh, so we are making a fictional player which is not here we have Morilbus and running and not a player called green team so this is where we create the fake player now this name right here green team is what will be displayed on the right side so if you want to call your teams uh, something else like pirates and ninjas maybe uh, you could change this name to pirates or ninjas and that will be displayed instead so let me add a point for both teams and then remove it you can now see on my right side that we have a green team and blue team and I can add points and remove points at will by using these command blocks so here is a little special thing if I join gr the green team as well I couldn't no running for fourth join the green team here is something that is a little bit special now I'm going to add wait am I doing this wrong everyone need to join the blue team blue team everybody I'm a bit confused Morelbus could you join the blue so everyone is in the blue team 
I'm now going to add uh, three points to the green team and none of us are in the green team so I can show you what the problem is with the green team and why I need this secondary read objective. Now here is a test for command and what I am testing for is if the score uh, of the display one uh, is more than two for the player called the green team. So what I'm trying to do is see does the green team have a score that is more than two. The score is three uh, so it is more uh, but when I press the button it doesn't work. The problem here is that the player green team doesn't exist uh, in the game. He's not a logged in player. He's a fake player. It doesn't exist. So we can't use this test4 command on that fake player. Uh, the test4 command is only for players that are logged in and that player is not logged in. He doesn't exist as I said. So if uh, someone joins the green team, uh, both of you join the green team. So here is what actually happens uh, when I add a point to the green team. You can see the display that the green team has one point. Both Morilibus and Running for Fourth are getting points in the uh, read objective. You can see R1 for player Morilibus is set to 2 and for Running for Fourth also 2. But the display objective on the right is for uh, the green team, the fake player. And you can see that they are the same at all time. So when we are testing for uh, the amount of points for the uh, green team, what we're actually doing is seeing if anyone that is in the team green has a score that is more than two. Now obviously the light goes on because both Morilbus and Running for Four do indeed have more than four points. Uh, the problem is with this system is if uh, Running joins the blue team you can see that his point is now four and if I would read the score for the team blue so if I change this command to team blue uh, it is now going to test if the uh, blue team has any points uh, which according to the uh, score display they don't have it is going to give a true output it didn't change because running for fourth has four points. So that is the downside. So when you're using this system you have to make sure that people don't change teams. The teams have to be constant for this to work. Uh, I hope you understand what I'm trying to show and uh, you now have some understanding how to make this system work. Download link will be in the description below and I'm looking down because that's how I say below. And uh, feel free to watch uh, Morilibus and Running for Fourth channels. They will also be in the description. Now Running for Fourth is happy and uh, <laughs> so is Morilibus. Ah, so there is actually something that I have missed. Uh, could you just join uh, some teams again? Uh, I forgot to mention how the uh, adding and removing points are set up and uh, yeah, I guess some of you could actually guess it but uh, one of the uh, command blocks when I press this button these two activate and when I remove two activate so every time you have to activate two command blocks one is for the uh, display objective which you can see on the right and one is for the uh, reading objective which you can see on the list uh, at the top of the screen. So this top command here is uh, I'm adding a point to the player that is called green team so that is a player but he's a fake player. Uh, so I'm adding a point in the objective called D1 which was the uh, display objective and I am adding 
one point. So when I do that, I am giving a point directly to the uh, green team player. And so there's no nothing magical going on there. It's going well for running for fourth, I can see. <clears throat> uh, but then when we add the read uh, points uh, that we use to get an output, which we shouldn't get when I press this now, because no one has more than two points. So what I'm doing is giving everyone that is in the team green one point in the read objective. So that will give everyone in that team a point and that point we can read with the command blocks. Over here it's the same deal. We're using uh, the blue team instead of the green team. Same over here. Uh, we are using the team blue instead of the team green. So that's just a change. Uh, when we remove, we do the same thing. Instead of adding, we use remove to remove a point. Whoops, and I fell down. And that is basically what we do. So as I said, uh, links in the description to the world to download. I am guessing you will need that because it is uh, a little bit much to take in in such a short while. Uh, with the download link, you will get three links to the Minecraft wiki for the uh, commands, uh, command block and the scoreboard wiki pages, which are all very nice and very well done. So they help a lot when working with the scoreboard. So, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike, see if I care, and I shall see you next time.